Hello there guys, Aaron Jana here for Forever Football, DRFC, your Dogs Rovers fan channel, three lines review, um, England 5, San Marino 0, complete demolishment, I think we have to be completely honest, complete demolishment, over 30 shots, um, I think we're around double figures in terms of shots on target, um, but yeah, it was a it was a demolishing victory. Um, I think the only the only San Marino player I give credit to is the goalkeeper Benedetti. I think that he gets the credit. I think he's the only one that gets the credit from the San Marino squad. I think that um, he made a few you know really good saves. I think that overall his gamemanship was great. Like that thirty yarder, for example, from Chilwell. Um, I think he had the stance ready to save it, like he knew he was going to shoot it. And he got the stance right, he got the save right. So, you know, he's the only San Marino player I give credit to. But um, I think one of the England players that kind of missed his mark a little bit was Sterling. I think he's one of the players that I sort of think maybe he could have done a bit better. Um, he sort of, you know, didn't... I don't know what it is. It's sort of like he took too many touches, didn't shoot it right, didn't catch it right on the header. Um, but still, he's not the tallest for headers. You know, he's like a smurf on a trampoline. You know, you can't catch them all the time. Um, but I think overall, it was a demolishing victory. San Marino were barely in it. I think the first five, ten minutes, there were spells where they looked like they could have pressured us a little bit on off the ball. Um, you know, there's a few times where they could have broken down, but they just didn't have the pace to break down in England, quickly got it off them uh, or cleared it away. Um, so all their attacks were pretty much broken down very, very quickly. Um, they had one shot the entire match, so overall not the best in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's just... I think it was just a demolishment when we move on from that. Um, so like, like I said, the goalkeeper for San Marino is probably the only person I give credit to in that side. I think they're, I think his name's Rossi, number six, the centre-back for them. Uh, was involved in at least two of the goals. He got, he got, <clears throat> his his shot got well, it, the shot from Sterling, that was his goal, got deflected from Rossi uh, into the back of the net. Cause it wasn't hit with a lot of power. It was deflected off Rossi's leg, and then for the Watkins goal, um, Rossi kind of got spun one way and then shot through his legs in the other way. And you know the goals that they sc that England scored tonight, the goalkeeper couldn't really do anything about it to be honest. So. Um, you look at that and think, well, hang on a minute, there's not much the goalkeeper could have done with those goals. So, overall, you know, the goalkeeper doesn't get too much fault for them. Um, but let's go through player ratings anyway, and then we'll sort of share what we need to do against Albania, because Albania, I think, got a 1-0 win against Andorra today. So, um, you know, good result for them. Poland drew, Spain drew with Greece, thanks to a penalty. But uh, there we go. Uh, it wasn't quite the Czech Republic result yesterday, but it was a battery anyway. Um, so, let's go go through the lineup uh, and give player ratings obviously the England's official lineup on Twitter the official graphic from Twitter is on your screen right now uh, so we're going to go through it right now Nick Pope I'm going to give him a 6 didn't have too much to do today um, just just all right. Only had one shot to deal with, and it wasn't even on target. So um, Pope didn't have too much to deal with, so 6, but it's quite harsh. Um, we're going to go with James next. I'm going to give him a 8. I think his cross for one of the goals was brilliant. Um, I think his overall play was great until he came off and for the second half. Uh, and I think he had a good performance. Uh, Chilwell gets an 8, arguably a 9. Was up there as one of the three contenders for Man of the Match. Uh, great performance, bombed down on the break very, very well, had the 30 yarder. Just overall, really good performance. And people were quite wary when Chilwell was announced to start, so, um, you know, and then he sort of put those fears to bed uh, very early on. Um, next up in the defence, we're going to go with the centre backs. Uh, we're going to go with Stones first. I'm going to give him a seven. Just nothing too much to deal with, but just held his line a little bit. Struggled a little bit a couple of times, but got it back in the end. Same with Connor Cody, seven, um, just all right. Held his own well, didn't have too much to deal with overall. Uh, in the midfield, uh, Ward-Prowse, I'm going to give that guy an eight. Again, brilliant goal. Had a wonderful performance overall and just bossed it. Uh, Calvin Phillips, seven, did quite well. Masterminded the midfield a bit. Uh, play made quite well, put some nice passes through that led to chances. Uh, and overall, just a good performance. Uh, Mason Mount gets an eight. Uh, I think, again, he was one of those attacking playmakers that just made everything happen for England. So, again, great performance. Sterling, 
I'm going to give him a seven. I'm going to give Sterling a seven, and it's it's yo-yo in between six and seven because he, apart from the goal, he had some missed chances. Yes, he was getting in the right spaces, but that doesn't excuse not not taking crucial chances. So, from, in my opinion, Sterling was probably the least of the performances today, uh, and t should be doing better, in my opinion. Um, going in next to Lingard, I'm going to give Lingard an eight, hundred percent. He was probably my man of the match. I think it, I think Lingard's my man of the match. Comment down below who your man of the match was, but I think it's between Lingard, Chilwell, and a certain DCL, which we'll go on to in a little bit. Uh, but Lingard, yeah, eight. Uh, wonderful goal, uh, wonderful play, and, you know, just overall, just did very, very well. And finally, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I'm going to give that guy an eight as well. Brilliant goal, took it very well from the header. That's how you cross a ball. And um, overall, attacking-wise, just brilliant. Uh, finally, the subs bench. Uh, we're going to go through Mings first because it's in not it's in uh, person order on the bench. Uh, so Mings going to give him a seven. Held the defence quite well and overall did all right. Uh, Trippier bombed forward, did quite well. Going to give him a seven as well. Uh, Foden eight. Attacking play was just out of this world. Uh, again, wonderful performance in the second half from Foden. And finally, we've got Watkins. I'm going to give that guy a uh, uh, got that, give that guy a seven, high seven, because again, goal was great, and overall was in the right spaces. And Bellingham uh, gets a very high seven, close to an eight as well, because I think Bellingham was was really good in that midfield in the second half as well. Uh, so there we go. So what do we need to do against Albania? We just need to have that clinical edge, keep providing the goals, keep getting as much shots on target as possible. And um, I think for my team for Albania. I'd probably start Foden over Sterling. And that, that's just me being perfectly honest. I think Sterling and Kane should be on the bench. I think Albania, they're a bit harder than San Marino, but not too much harder in my opinion. So, um, obviously there's a couple of players you've got to watch out for. I think Granit's brother, Talon Xhaka, plays for them. A jetty, they used to be at West Ham, I think he's now at Celtic, the, uh, the, the striker. So, there's a couple of danger threats for them if they're on the pitch, but uh, overall, hopefully, fingers crossed, not too much to deal with. Um... But in my opinion, I would drop Sterling and I'd play. I'd start Phil Foden. I think that'd be the way forward. Should be interesting to see if he goes with four at the back because obviously, you know, people weren't expecting him to go four at the back today. They were expecting like a three at the back or something or a five at the back. Um, but yeah, I, I think hopefully he should go with the four three three or the four two three one in the next game against Albania. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this match review. Stay tuned for the preview for Albania uh, the day before the match. Stay, stay tuned for the NK Dons preview tomorrow. And for now, guys, I'm Aaron Chandler from Forever Football, DRSC. And that, my friends, is full time. Rovers, I die. Let's get another win over Albania. Robertson!